Yesterday afternoon, Meta unveiled a pair of $1,500 AR headsets that go on sale on October 25th. Saz is, of course, fired up about these things, but not because he's excited about the technology. His frustration with these is where we find his take today. I don't even know what we're looking at video <laughs> there. What even was that? Well, I imagine uh, a lot of other consumers won't know either because they're not buying these things. My take is this. I'll do a review in real, real time. I hate them, and I think it's an awful time for uh, Meta to be coming out with a $1,500 product at the same time they're laying people off. Their stock price is down 62%. But let me set this up here and look at some of the specs on this because... We don't really uh, need anything else. We yeah, well, I'm getting there. I just wanted to take give you a little flavor, <laughs> flavor of what's coming up. So here are the, expe uh, the specs on this. Big winner for Qualcomm. Friends of uh, Yahoo Finance are always on talking about their various chips. Big win for them. That is good. Uh, you're seeing 12 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, you're seeing uh, a good bit of storage and a 90 uh, hertz refresh rate. Don't know what that is, but it all sounds good. Worth <laughs> noting as well, uh, without being plugged in, this device gets 60 to 90 minutes on a full charge. To me, that's not exactly great. You plug it in, obviously, the charge lasts a lot longer. But the specs on this are pretty impressive. That is winning high remarks. But here's why. You know, if you are an investor in Meta, you should view something like this very, very skeptically. Uh, and there I am with those goggles on, essentially covering my eyes. First up, you're releasing an AR, AR glasses while workers at, at Meta are reportedly being purged. That is the only thing we have heard uh, out of Meta, arguably, the past month on how they're calling their workforce, focusing more on expenses. And here you have Zuckerberg on, on a presentation yesterday uh, just championing $1,500 AR glasses. It just seems totally disconnected on, relative to what's happening inside of Meta regarding even a product that is not a big sales driver for this company. Number two, how will these glasses help get your stock price up? That is to be determined. I would argue it is products like this that are so focused on a metaverse that doesn't even exist and may not exist for 10 years uh, that is hurting Meta's stock price, continues to hurt that stock price because it's dumping so much money into products like this. And then lastly, who is spending $1,500 on these glasses in front of a recession? This is five, almost $500 more than the top end of an iPhone. I think it's a very limited market, at least right now. You can't wear these outside, per se. You're not walking around your office in them, per se. So it's a very limited, high-end focus, usually, I would say, dedicated to tech geeks. Overall, now, there are some sales behind this as well. You know, I pulled up IDC. Worldwide shipments of augmented reality headsets are forecast to decline to decline 8.7% year over year to about 260,000 units by the end of this year. So here's a $1,500 product into a potential recession in a market that is not really growing, clearly. That is coming from IDC. And uh, also as well, uh, in the first half of this year, the top five AR headset makers weren't Meta. You can see Microsoft on there, Roku, well, Shadow Creator. Because they they weren't really making, or they been making they had, they had, them yet? They've had these glasses. The Oculus, this, is just, right? this is just the latest ah. iteration. So the market is telling you, the market is not growing, and this is a product that you know consumers are not necessarily out there buying. My take is on this, uh, maybe not a shocker. Come on, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Apple's going to crush you anyway. At some point, Apple's going to come out with actual glasses, whether they look like Google Glass, whatever they are, that is going to pummel anything that Meta is, could possibly come up here. You're going to probably be able to wear these glasses out in public. They're going to look like glasses. They're going to do like big, cool things, and you're not even going to need these things. I mean, total waste of time. Total well, waste of time. I, I think I'm in the same boat and not being sold. However, I would argue that if you saw more corporate purchases, because the starting I point... I know. I'm like, what um, is I'm going to let that slide. <laughs> if, if the starting point, at least, as an entryway for them is not just going to the individual consumer, but going to the corporate consumer and saying, if you want more collaboration, you have to do it through the tools that you're giving your team. The reason that you saw some many IBM ThinkPads be able to be sold, especially in the era when so many companies were navigating over to whether it be a Lenovo or an Apple MacBook Pro for their employee base. It's because they were able to just say, all right, let's just buy these in wholesale, let's buy these in bulk, and then we know we can run all of our applications on that. Now, we all know what the way of the IBM ThinkPad went, but if there's an entry point, it could be more on the corporate side well, but than what, an individual but side. But what in the world is the value proposition? And I know this is something Zuckerberg said, you can have meetings in the metaverse. Sure. Why? I'm so happy you agree with me on this one. This is uh, so why. Me so why would you have meetings in the metaverse when you can have a Zoom? A or or a do it in real person. Or do, or it, or do it in person. person. Like, Ooh, it just, I, I, right. I, it just it, it that that proposition doesn't make any sense to me. Now, to be clear, Zuckerberg has said this is a longer term bet. It's something that is not going to create value necessarily for the company in the short term. You know, and while that may be true, in the meantime, it's causing issues for the company, not just the points you were making. There is also reportedly employee dissatisfaction yes. with the strategy mm -hmm. that the company has taken. And as we know, 
you know, even with the cutbacks that we've seen in Silicon Valley, there's still a war for talent that goes on. So if you're yeah. losing people because they don't think that you're on the right track, that's a problem. Simple analysis here. We had that Piper Sandler survey yesterday, uh, and it showed that Instagram is in third place behind Snap and TikTok. How do these $1,500 glasses help get Instagram back into first place? How does it make Facebook more relevant again where it's number one? I don't see it, and that is a big problem. That is the biggest thing that is hanging over uh, Meta stock price right now. Too high expenses and slowing growth in Facebook and Instagram. Well, do you think all the grandparents who are on Insta or who are on Facebook are going to buy these? No, I don't think no. they're going to buy them. <laughs> Not at all. I know. Not unless they need them. Not unless they need them. It was for sort work. of a rhetorical yeah, question. Yeah. <laughs> Quick plug too: if you want to follow more of my product reviews, just go to LinkedIn. I have more. I usually post them all there. Really? Uh, no.